The NDP Leap Manifesto. Leap was the wrong name for it. It should have been called jumping, as in jumping out of the political window, off the electoral cliff, under the bus, and in front of the locomotive. The one occasion that the federal NDP had that people thought it might actually form a national government came as a gift from Rachel Notley's staggering win in Alberta. It was thought if the NDP could win in Alberta, why not Canada as a whole? Her win was the biggest boost the National Party received for decades. In return, about a year later, the NDP stalwarts come back to Notley's job desolate Alberta, pushing the most radical anti-oil agenda outside of a Greenpeace seance held in the crop circle. They hear and applaud her plea that the LEAF agenda was suicide for Alberta and her party, but then proceed to endorse it. The most radical, anti-industrial, anti-trade, anti-oil, anti-banks policy of any political party in Canada. And that includes the Greens. Guess there wasn't time for a Hugo Chavez tribute. Then they moved on to Tom Mulcair. They stripped Mr. Mulcair of everything but his beard, 52% against in a leadership review, a graceless dismissal as brutal as anything from the high days of Donald Trump's apprentice. And having given him the heave-ho, then with perplexing incoherence, instantly ask him to hang on for two years as interim while neutered leader. Let's sum it up in plain words. The convention essentially said this. Madam NDP Premier, thanks for the ride, but we don't need you or Alberta now. Tom Mulcair, out you go, but hang around until the wizards of Leap, who dethroned you, figure out where to go from here. In the words of a famous writer, this changes everything for the worse. General Armstrong Custer had a better grasp of tactics. The NDP convention has one merit, it clarified things. It gave primacy to the climate change agenda before anything else. And on that agenda, not least plea for Canadian pipelines the lost jobs in the curled oil slump and a hit to the Canadian economy and Canadian jobs is seen as a much lesser thing than the great climate crusade. They brought Paris to Alberta. Finally, it should be noted among all the political considerations, there appeared to be very little personal consideration for the manner and abruptness with which Tom Mulcair was treated. It wasn't nice. The NDP came into Edmonton, a national party, subdued after a defeat, but still a national party. They left as a radical, ideologically driven faction. For the National, I'm Rex Murphy.